Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing reading for Sign of Sagittarius, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. You also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You should go check that out. Um, you can also find my short store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Sagittarius, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. We're 31 with hostilities, conflict, unrest. We're 21 guide, the illuminated path. 36 with duality, many meanings, misunderstanding. We're number 42 with wings of light, becoming something new. Number 9 with tenderness, true love, compassion. We're 22 with telepathy, transmission, perception, communication. Number five, the clarity, planning, releasing illusion. Forty with idyllic times, the garden, paradise. Okay, such so stories like this. You are you are becoming very strong here on like the psychic level. Okay, feels like you're guiding people. You're becoming something new. Wings of light. We're getting more clarity here, and I feel like telepathy is going to be a big thing for you, like telepathing to people, receiving that telepathic, telepathic communication. Alright, but you're also having kind of like, I feel like it's because you became more tender here, Sagittarius. Alright, more caring. Now, there can be kind of like true love there as well, Sagittarius. <laughs> Alright, but with this duality and hostilities card, I feel like there's going to be people that misunderstand what you're doing. Alright? So because of their misunderstandings, they're going to... may try to insult you or whatever here, just kind of ignore them, Sagittarius, focus on yourself. Alright, because it's like you're coming into a time of more peacefulness. Alright, maybe even going out in nature there. Thirty-five with clairvoyance, inspiration, interpretation, trust. Number eight with the divine masculine, electric, active power. Number one with portal, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. Number twenty-five with go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, receiving. Fifty-three with soul radiance, phoenix rising. Forty-seven with rivers of blessings, releasing constraints. 24 with adjustment, looking back, moving forward. Number 18 with bright heart light, open connections. Okay, look at the Sagittarius, you're going through a portal here. Alright, that's why you're becoming something new. You are. Feels like you're going with the flow here. You're going with the flow. You're open to all this here, and you're like rising as a something new. You're going down. Phoenix rising, being reborn. Like, not actually, but like spirit. Like, you know what I'm saying. You are moving forward, but there may be times where you look backwards, but just keep moving forward here, Sagittarius. You have blessings coming in because you are moving forward, because you have letting go, and you're you're open. You're open to that flow. All right, but it feels like you're having this connection coming in, you have tenderness there, bright heart light. We're having. It feels like you're having that of a connection coming towards you, Sagittarius, or maybe you're already in a connection. All right, we have the Divine Masculine, we have bright heart light, we have tenderness. Alright, but overall, I see that blessings are coming in because your heart is open. You're open to receive such terrors. So you're having that. Rivers of blessings. Constraints being removed. Obstacles being removed. Such terrors. Cards wanting to fall all over the place.
thought he was setting up boundaries. Threshold protection. Honor. Number seven with the divine feminine. Magnetic receptive powers. So we have the divine feminine, divine masculine here. Number 10, sacred breath and sound, life force, communication. Number 43, with sacred purpose, eternal flame, ancestral legacy. 41, circle of internal joy, timelessness, dance of life. Number 28, abundance, fortune, wealth, plenty. Number 3, with calming the waters, peaceful, self-regulation. Number two, courage, strength, fierceness, family. So Sagittarius, there's one thing. You always have like this big cat in these um, cards here. That of the lion, the jaguar, things like that. So you have this very powerful spirit around you that embodies that. All right, that's helping you with that, Sagittarius. All right, maybe there's even communication coming forward with that spirit there, like telepathic communication, Sagittarius. We're setting up boundaries here as well. And you're stepping into more joy, more abundance, more blessings here, becoming more calm, all right, more at peace, following your purpose, all right, there's abundance coming in, there's money, prosperity, you know, think good things are up ahead, especially because you're following more of your purpose, and it, it really feels like psychicness is being, those psychic abilities being awakened more within you, they're becoming more stronger here, Sagittarius, I feel like that's a lot of your sacred purpose right there. Number 16 with Twin Flames, Soul Partner, Eternal Connection. Like I said, we have that of a connection here. We have the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Twin Flame, Sagittarius. Number 46, Healing Earth, the power to give and receive healing. Number 51, Grateful Optimism, Joyous View of the Future. Number 33, Building your world, creation, expansion, networking. Or 13, precognition, psychic ability, future vision. Or 11, opening heart, deep connections, water blessings. Or 6, with angelic assistance, divine guidance, loving support. Or 20, with innovation, new creation. See that you're creating new here, Sagittarius. You're, you're healing the earth. You're creating a new, a new era here, a new way. All right, and you're also creating a lot more. You're like creating maybe even creative projects, like something you are creating, you are manifesting, and you're shaping the future into that more positivity. You have your angels here helping you. All right, like I said, psychic abilities being more awakened within you, becoming more stronger here. So your heart is opening. All right, and you're able to feel these deep connections as well. It's connecting with that of the water element as well, Sagittarius. All right, so let's get to learn some charms for yourself. So we have Hathor. We have the Egyptian snake goddess. We have Horus. We have Obsidian, which is a protective stone. Changes here happening, Sagittarius. We have you going through a journey. It can be actual travels there. And we have Justice. This is justice because you're emerging into more strength in these changes. These are positive changes, okay? So, that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop. Go in there, go buy something. I really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, feel like subscribe. Bye, guys.